Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. So it is June the 20th, and we are on day 20 of the June Low Spend Month. Today is Wednesday, and it is grocery haul day for me. So I am sitting down to make my grocery list. Um, as it were, I went to my local grocery websites last night to see what was on sale. And in all honesty, at both Harris Teeter and Aldi, I didn't see a whole, whole lot of things. So the kids and I are going to make a grocery list of things that we possibly don't have in the house, which is very little. We have pretty much everything. And then we are going to head out to the grocery stores and just kind of walk the store so we can see what's on sale, see what we might have a coupon for because anything we get today is probably gonna be an unadvertised deal, which means it's not gonna show up in the paper. We're gonna write some things down. There's a couple things I know that I have to have. We're going to a small group tonight and it's a pool party and it's BYOF or bring your own food. So I'm gonna grill hot dogs on the George Foreman grill, but I need buns. So I don't have buns for hot dogs. So I know I have to have that. We are definitely gonna get a thing of water because we always get water. I need onions. I don't have onions and I haven't had any in a couple of weeks. And then I'm going to actually try some zucchini, but I'm going to shred this instead of making zoodles because I don't think with my texture problem, I can do the zoodles. I'm going to use the cheese grater and grate it. And then I'm going to use it in a fry pan with some uh, spray oil. With that, I think I'm going to look for some mushrooms. And then I'm also going to probably get some uh, spinach. And as far as I'm probably going to get some coleslaw because I do have uh, sausages. So those are a couple things that I think I'm going to get. Um, what else do we need, y'all? Eggs. Eggs. Oh, we don't have any eggs. And we did eat quite a few of them last week. What else do we need, Jack? Jelly. What about bread? We could use sandwich meat. That's sandwich meat in the in the um in the freezer. So we can we can pull that out. What else do we have or need? Fruit. We probably do have to have some fruit. And I'm not real sure what. Just depends on what's on sale. So I'm gonna put strawberries, grapes, pineapple. I did see watermelon for cheap, so I may get that. We do like watermelon. So that might work. So these are not sure's. We'll get whatever is on sale that we can afford. And we only have $30 to spend. So right now the kids and I, are, we're going to go shopping in our pantry and our freezer to see what we do have. We do not have our meal plan made. We only had enough meals for Monday and Tuesday because they were on last week's. And then we'll fill in for Wednesday through Sunday whenever we get back from the grocery store. So let's go to our garage freezer and pantry and see what we can pull out of there. Okay, so hmm, I found buns, so we don't have to buy buns, so we're scratching that off of our list. So we are going to take the buns in the house. Um, we do have fish. I think we're going to have fish tacos this one day this week, so we'll take the fish in the house. Let's see, Jackson asked, oh, here's some mushrooms. We'll take mushrooms in the house. That'll work as well. Um, Jackson said we needed, oh, look. There's waffles. Hmm. Okay, Jackson said we needed lunch meat, so we're gonna take some honey ham in the house. We wanna do one honey, one meat or two. We'll do one, okay. Our freezer is getting down. Let's take these clam strips in the house. Maybe we'll have that on a salad, or mom will. Look at that. Sweet potato fries. Okay, we'll keep that in there. I'm gonna take the laughing cow in the house and then cheese, how are we looking on cheese? Mozzarella cheese or this one? Any of these. We'll take that one. And then I'll just put some of these Nutrisystem things in this little bucket so they don't get lost down in the bottom of the cabin, uh, freezer. So, we're going through the stuff. I mean, we're getting through some of it. Some of these we'll use for lunches. Mom will use for lunches some of those things. Hey, now, wait. Okay, we got salmon. We'll take the salmon in. 
That'll be good for this week. All right, we've shopped the freezer. That works pretty good. Now let's see what we can pull off of the uh, pantry shelves. Okay, so looking at what we brought out of the freezer, so I'm gonna make myself a list down here of things we pull out of the freezer. We pulled out tilapia, salmon, cheese, sweet potato fries, mushrooms, taco shells, buns. I pulled out some chili lime tortilla strips, pulled out cheese dip, um, I pulled out rice. So with these items being pulled out of the freezer, I know that we're going heavy Mexican this week. Or we're gonna, you know, it's gonna be a Mexican thing. With that being said, I can do rice and beans. Doesn't have to have meat here. And I can do black beans or refried, either one, because I have both in there. I can do fish tacos, which is one of my plans. I can do fish nachos, which I might have to pick up nachos from the grocery store, which was not on my original list. I can do hot dogs and fries. These would be the sweet potato fries for one meal. I can do eggs and rice. Oh, I can do honey salmon. And with this, I can do rice or veg. Okay, so we have veg in the freezer. Corn, any meat? Oh, we have corn, so we could, oh, I have a thing of, see if, do I have a little thing of chicken breast in that red thing? Cause I could do chicken taco soup. No, but I just know what's in there. So I can do a chicken taco soup because I do have chicken in, in the freezer. I have onions, I have pearl onions left over. And then some of those Nutrisystem meals, now that the freezer is cleaned out, we can put those out to the freezer. So looking at what I was able to pull out of the outside freezer and off of the shelf, and then what we have inside, I'm now able to pull together kind of a pseudo meal plan it's gonna be heavy on the Mexican style side, so I may have to get like some taco seasoning because I don't think I have any of that, or I may only have one or two. So I may need to get two or three packets of those. Um, we're gonna put together our meal plan. So I'm gonna come back and let you guys know what our meal plan is, and then also add in our grocery haul with this plan. Or at least I'll show you a picture of my groceries. The grocery haul may be a little bit, maybe a separate video. So anyway, I'm going to come back and finish up my meal plan. And then I'll do, that'll be today's video. And then I'll do my grocery haul video tomorrow, which is what we normally do. So we'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, everybody. So the kids and I are back from the grocery store. And we did okay. Um, we did well, stayed within our budget. But I think a couple of the challenges with the low spend is really more in your head than it is in your in your wallet or your at even at your grocery store because you're so used to if I need this I'm gonna get it because your budget is way bigger than normal so of course my normal grocery budget per week is between 60 and 75 dollars I normally try to do 75 dollars if I can because I do a lot of stock up shopping however I had to reduce that to $37. So that was par almost 50% of my budget period. So this week I think it was spend 60% of your budget. Well, I'm already at 50% of my budget. So I'm as low as I can possibly go. And we still did relatively well. One of the things that I had to think about, I really didn't want to think about this because I don't need no naysayers when I'm trying to get my deals. And over here, when I'm trying to check out at the register, I have little people talking about, well, mom, um, so you really need to get that because you might not need to get that. Aren't you on a low spin? Uh, just do not be in my ear. I'm trying to get my deals. <laughs> and that's how you think. It's like, why are you trying to not let me get my deals? I'm trying to get my deals. Stay over there, little girl. <laughs> But I think she has very valid points. So I do have to make the best possible choices when at the grocery store, especially on a low spin month or week, even if it's just a low spin week. 100% of the truth is 
all the of all the things I got this week, I didn't have to have any of them. So could it would it have been better to take that grocery money this week because I didn't have needs and roll it into next week because possibly by next week our fridges and freezers would be a little bit less and I might need something next week. My mindset, especially when shopping on a low budget is let me stock up on the things I can stock up on and use coupons for. So in the long run, I don't have to get as much per week as I normally would. So I don't know, you just have to think about I know I have to think about things when I'm shopping. One of the things that has been really helpful was shopping the fridge, shopping the freezer, shopping the pantry before we went, and then also looking for my coupon deals. I didn't find any Mexican type items that would have helped with the menu plan that I that I had. So I'm gonna have to change the menu plan. Um, one of the things that I think I can keep, I'm gonna keep partial Mexican, but I'm going to add in uh, beef ribs, uh, barbecue ribs, because we were able to get uh, barbecue sauce. So I'm going to get barbecue ribs, and I may even be able to do some barbecue chicken. So those were a couple things that I'm just writing down some things on my notebook um, for me, just a few meal plan ideas that I think may or may not work just with what I have. So anyway, we were able to get the majority of the things on our list. There were a couple things that I just could not get, partially because I couldn't justify paying that amount. Um, like the zucchini, they were $1.99 a pound, and that will only give me two really small zucchini. I mean, they were probably about this big, this long, and maybe about this big, I mean, so I couldn't justify and it was only two of them. So maybe that's something we'll try next week or next month if it goes down cheaper any. Um, a lot of your salad greens and different things like that were not on sale. So we're going to use the um, frozen veg that we have in the freezer. And we have some. So we're going to use those. I did not get the coleslaw or the spinach that I wanted. However, um, I ended up thinking I might have bread out in the freezer. So I'm going to try to use that. So we didn't get everything that we wanted on our list this week, but I'm okay with the things that we did get. So as you're going through low spend month, just think about, you know, plan first. That's been my biggest key is plan. Go to your freezers, pull out things you know you can bring into your main house if you have an outside freezer, we do. Or check in your pantry and see what you have and what can you mix, what can you combine, and then shop. Um, so that's how we've done it. Uh, for this week, I think we did very excellent. I was excited about this week's grocery shop. I was just excited about the process for this week. Even though when I checked my sales um, online, there weren't a whole lot of things that I had coupons for. I had some coupons, but I didn't use one coupon that doubled this week, not even one. So, you know, that is what it is, but I still was able to get, coup I still was able to get coupon savings. So I'll take that. But anyway, this is what we are working with this week. Um, the process has been very good for us. If you haven't jumped in on the low spin, I encourage you to jump in. I think we're going to be doing low spin again for July, simply by um, necessity, not because I want to see if I can do it again. I just get less money in the summer months than I do in the regular school year. So um, we're going to be on low spin. With that being said, we want to thank you so much for stopping by our channel. We hope this series is helpful and beneficial to you and your family. Um, if it is, leave us a comment. If you have any questions about anything I showed today, leave us a comment below. We'd be happy to answer those for you. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. If you're new around here, hit the red subscribe button. We love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. Also hit the little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel during this low spin prep week. And until next time, Bye now.